this year's prize in economic sciences is awarded to three economists whose groundbreaking work has helped us to understand the labour market and the way in which policy can affect unemployment. With unemployment in many countries high and rising, the timely award commends the work of the three laureates, Peter Diamond, Dale Mortensen and Christopher Pissarides. Their ideas can be used to provide governments with practical solutions. The labour market is the most important market, I think, because that's the market that generates people's incomes. So the family well-being, uh, the well-being of future generations depends on what we do in, in labour markets. Professor Peter Diamond has made significant contributions to the fundamental theory of what are known as search markets, where the time and resources spent looking for goods or jobs affect the working of the market. Pissarides and Mortensen then developed the theory and applied it to the jobs market. You know, in a word, it takes time to find a job or it takes time to find a worker. In Boston, at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Professor Peter Diamond reshaped the established understanding of how search markets work. I was uh, throwing it open. I was exploring if you ask this different question than the question the research community was focused on at the time, what would you learn? The classical view of the market insisted that buyers and sellers, or employers and workers, find each other immediately, without cost. Diamond's most celebrated work, written in 1971 while he was traveling in Israel, is known as the Diamond Paradox. It showed that even small difficulties in searching for a good can cause big problems for any given market. The surprising revelation helped show that regulation could produce improved results. I sat there and played with the equations, and that's the beauty of math, is uh, um, the results, if you get it right, tell you something you might not have known when the doorbell rang. Professor Diamond's family have been overwhelmed by the prize in economic sciences and continue to receive congratulations. It's like for a, a small period of time, the world is right. There's pure joy that's so wonderful that you think it's hard to bear, really. Diamond shares his prize in economic sciences with Professor Dale Mortensen, who systematically developed and applied search theory to examine the labour market, particularly the forces which drive unemployment. Yeah, the students decorated the door. One of the issues I think the group of us were trying to figure out was whether we could uh, uh, bring in the richness uh, that exists in what we observe about the labor market and whether that richness has something to do with uh, understanding macro issues like unemployment. Mortensen rejected the prevailing idea of unemployment as static. He emphasized instead the ebbs and flows in the labor market. So the people who are losing their jobs, all right, are flowing into the state. Those that are finding jobs are flowing out. Uh, I call it the bathtub model. Once you have that view, you focus on different things. You focus on, for example, how long does it take a job and what determines how long it takes a job? How long does, do jobs last and how, what determines how long jobs last? Mortensen developed an innovative way to incorporate time into mathematical equations about the labour market. He looked at the way in which workers get job offers. What I simply assumed was, well, they come at random, at some frequency, affected by the way workers behave, it's affected by the way employers behave. So it uh, was a simple characterization that, that, that allowed you to then to get on with the real analysis. Mortensen was inspired by Diamond's work. He also discussed ideas with his wife Beverly, 
a professor of religion at Northwestern University. We had a big battle one night on our honeymoon about uh, whether altruism was uh, useful in his, in his work. And he said, no, it's statistically insignificant. And I said, how can it be? <laughs> and we've gone from there. <laughs> we've made some peace with it over the years. <laughs> The third Economic Sciences Laureate is a professor at the London School of Economics. A Greek Cypriot, Professor Christopher Pissarides has lived and worked in London for 40 years. London, of course, was the most vibrant city that you could be in. You know, the, was, you had the, the Beatles, Mary Quant, the swing in London, the swing in the 60s. And it struck me that why is it that there are unemployed people that cannot enjoy all these things that we seem to be enjoying? Diamond and Mortensen had focused on the issues workers face while job hunting. Pissarides also highlighted the importance of employers' actions. Our approach to unemployment is one that is based on individual decision making. And these um, decisions are affected by what incentives you have. For example, the wage rate that you're going to be offered, the per hour wage rate, say and how it compares with any unemployment uh, benefit that you get uh, from the state. The laureate's work has influenced unemployment policy in Europe and America, and Pissarides regularly meets with policymakers. <laughs> he's very charming, of course, and he's a wonderful colleague. His work provided the intellectual foundations for Britain's New Deal and similar policies in Denmark, Netherlands, and other European countries, based on the idea that you shouldn't just give people unconditional benefits indefinitely uh, while being unemployed, that you must shorten the period of unemployment by giving people offers of activity, but also insisting that they take them. Pissarides loves cooking. Tonight, he's made dinner for his partner, Rachel, and Anthony, his son. Here we go with cheers. Cheers. Well, I'm astonished by the changes in my life after the Nobel Prize. Oh, it's changed completely from um, two minutes past 12 when the announcement was made. The number of uh, emails, phone calls, messages, requests to talk here, there, people wanted to hear what you have to say, it's just they haven't stopped yet. So it's good when I managed to escape and come home and cook a little bit. The three laureates' work is known collectively as the DMP model. Diamond, Mortensen, Pissarides. It does not offer one fail-safe answer to the question of unemployment, but it looks at a range of options such as unemployment insurance, the minimum wage, and tax benefits for employers. I don't have a mission in the world that this is how things should be and, and go around trying to persuade people that that's how they should do it. You know you're going to be doing some good stuff and some bad stuff from basically any government policy. Many of my students are in the, the Department of Labor, or they're at the Fed Bank, all right? They're dealing with the pros and cons of all these policy issues. What Peter and I and Chris do, we've built a tool that they can use. It's a deal. <laughs> Yay! Yay!